whiskey enthusiasts. It's Brett and I'm back with another whiskey review. Today I'm tasting something that is from a brand I have never sampled before. This is Balcones. The one I have today is the Baby Blue Corn Whiskey that comes in at 46% ABV. This is made in Waco, Texas. They make quite a number of things. They make a bourbon. Uh, they make uh, a whiskey that is smoked with mesquite smoke. They make a, an American single malt. They make quite a number of things. So uh, I have no experience with them. I have no experience with this. This was not my bottle originally. It was given to me today and I decided to film my tasting of it because I hear so many mixed reactions about this particular whiskey and some people like it, some people don't. I have no preconceived notion yet, so we'll see what I think of this. This is incredibly sweet on the nose. Uh, more fruity on the nose than I would have expected. Um, I fully expected this to come at me quite grainy, but it's way more fruit forward. And when I say fruit, it's a pale stone fruit, like an apricot. There's a little cherry in it. The nose is fairly one-dimensional, um, but it's not a bad nose. I can't say that I dislike it, but it's a little bit difficult for me to uh, compare it to anything. Once you get past the fruit, it starts to smell like ethanol, which it is, um, in a way. Uh, yeah, you, you get that, you get, you get almost a, uh, a corn fuel smell. It's not horrible, it's just different. Alright, I don't have much else to say about the nose on it because there isn't anything else there. That's really all you get. Okay, the initial flavors in the palate is just a very simple sweetness. It's very sweet and non-offensive in the beginning. Unfortunately, it takes it about three or four seconds to get this kind of an acrid, bitter note that overtakes the sweetness. I don't know exactly what to compare it to. Um, it, slight, it slightly reminds me of the taste of a pit out of a, a, a stone fruit, like a nectarine or a peach. Um, if you've ever cut into a peach or a nectarine and had the, the, the stone seed in the middle split on you, and got some bits of it onto the meat. That's the kind of taste that I get. There's just not much else there. It starts sweet and then turns bitter. Um, I can't compare it to anything. The fruitiness that it was in, that was in the nose is completely absent in the palate. Uh, and on to the finish, and I'll be honest with you, I don't want to taste it again to get any more notes out of the finish. 
the finish gets slightly woody. Um, there's a little bit more of that bitterness. Um, it's a little leathery, but you still get a little bit of a sweet note of the corn at the end. But it's completely overwhelmed by this uh, this acrid note. I, I, I don't know the exact words to uh, explain it. Um, if you enjoy this, great. It's not for me. You can have it all. Um, this is not something I would ever buy. This is not something I would ever order in a bar. I'm glad that I was given this bottle and um, that I didn't have to pay for it. Uh, whatever this costs, if it's over 15 or 20 bucks, it's too much. And I'm pretty sure that it costs more than that. I'm not a fan at all. Uh, I do not recommend this to anyone. Um, I'm having a hard time even thinking of what I could use this in for a cocktail. I, I just, I'm at a loss for what this is supposed to accomplish. The nose wasn't bad, but the palate and finish are just not enjoyable at all. Um, so, unless you're just looking for a quick drunk, there's and you're going to shoot it, it's, there's not much there. Uh, on our 100 point system, where 50 is an average whiskey, uh, I would give this a 33 because the nose is decent. Um, that's probably about the lowest score I've given so far on a review. Uh, my review of Johnny Walker wine cask finish might have been that low. I can't recall. But this is, in my opinion, not worth your time. Hopefully for Balcones, there are people out there with a differing opinion than mine. So, maybe it won't be this, but go out there and find you some whiskey you'll love. Have a good day.